Ranch, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Benjamin Bratt, Max DT. The season premiere of Family Law will keep you guessing to the end. CBS October 2nd. I just found out that a bottle of bupivacaine was missing from the floor the exact same day as Andy's examination. Do you want to explain that? Bupivacaine? Yes, it's spinal anesthetic. I know what bupivacaine is. What are you implying? I'm not implying anything, John. I'm simply asking a question. I'd like to know if you knew anything about this. Why should I? Those books, the books that you gave Andy on spinal injuries, what was he doing with them? He asked for them. I was just wondering why the same day as his response test, a spinal and a syringe were missing from the supply room. Are you aware that in, in one of those books you gave Andy that there are explicit instructions on how to administer spinals and epidurals? And you think that I administered one of those to my son? Well, that's quite a case you're presenting with me. Do you actually think that I would administer such a thing to my son? I'm sorry to say, but it's beginning to look like that to me, John. You found a way to break your paralysis, and now I know how you did it. I know all about you. Am I supposed to know what this is? Supposed to know, but you do, and that's the problem. I don't know what, what, what kind of game you're, you're, you're trying to play here, but I'm not getting it. D -d don't insult me, wheelchair man. See, the way I figure it, you wanted to find a way to keep Denise, and the only way you could do that was the pity card. With poor Andy stuck in the chair, I mean, how could she move out with your little girl? But then when a successful surgery took place and you still couldn't walk, you had to pull out the big guns. That's where this baby comes in. And what is this? <laughs> you don't know. Okay, look, I'll play along. Bupivacaine numbs you from the waist down. So no amount of poking or prodding can get you to twitch. One shot of this and bam, instant disability. Are you, are you kidding me? I wish I was. I mean, you don't know anything about medicine. Are, are, are you a doctor? Well, sadly, no, I'm not. I'm in the business of asking questions and getting answers. But you know, we can get your pops on the horn. I'm sure he can explain all about how this junk works. So what's it gonna be? Your Honor, the defense calls its first witness, Molly Conlon. So, it looks like it's just you and me, again. You will address the witness in a voice that includes the entire courtroom, Mr. Stenbeck, and you will do so only after the witness has been sworn in. I beg the court's pardon. Do you swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. Please, state your name. Molly Conlon. Ms. Conlon. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, we're under oath here, and it feels very dishonest calling you Ms. Conlon after everything we've shared. Molly, would you kindly tell the court about our love affair? Molly, please tell the court when our love affair started and how long it lasted. Objection, Your Honor. Relevancy. 
<sighs> Molly's passion for me is completely relevant. It's the foundation of the prosecution's entire case. Uh, that's not accurate. Our case, in fact, is based on the defendant's own admission of the kidnap. Their sole piece of evidence against me is a conversation I had with Molly. I would say her feelings for me are certainly relevant. The defendant's motive here is harassment, nothing more. I'm sorry, Miss Lee, but uh, Miss Conlon's relationship with the defendant is pertinent. Objection overruled. And the question stands, Molly. When did our affair begin? <clears throat> Our affair began, David, before you started killing and kidnapping people. There will be order now. Okay, I would like to have Molly Conlon declared a hostile witness. Objection, Your Honor. Mr. Stenbeck himself called Ms. Conlon as a witness, knowing full well... Given the nature of the witness's response, Ms. Lee, I'm inclined to agree. Objection overruled. Okay. Now that we know where we stand, let's get to the real truth. As the World Turns is brought to you today by Cheer. Keep colors alive. Introducing Wizard Scented Oil. It brings a new freshness to your home. You can control the fragrance level to create a magical atmosphere for up to two months. New scented oil from Wizard. Fragrances that change your world. I don't believe in panic. I don't believe in fear. New OB Ultra tampons. 20% more absorbent for the best protection. New OB Ultra with an applicator. Protection without limits. It's allergy season. Or Allegra season. Enjoy your world with Once Daily Allegra for people 12 and older. Side effects are low. It may include headache, upper respiratory tract infection, and back pain. Ask your doctor for more information about Allegra and turn this allergy season into Allegra season. Introducing a colorful new spin on freshness. New Bounce Color Smart. Finally, color protection in your dryer. Bounce pulls away color dulling minerals left by rinse water, helping keep colors fresh and bright every day. New Bounce Color Smart. To make a fresh start today. The start of something fresh. You look so radiant. Introducing a totally effective breakthrough in anti-aging. Have you been on vacation? With an exclusive vitamin B and E complex called Vitaniacin. It fights the seven signs of aging. <laughs> you look beautiful. New total effects from Olay. Proven to reveal a remarkable transformation. Love the way you always try. Almost makes me cry. Now there's something we can do. Bake up cookies, me and you. Cookies. So gooey, gooey and hot. You're gonna want a lot. Looks like perfection. Making that connection. Now I'm showing this love of mine. My heart to yours. My heart to yours. My heart to yours. Tonight on Survivor, a tribe's dinner is stolen. Who did it? And Rich has a surprise for everyone. I'm pretty comfortable naked. Survivor continues, CBS Tonight. What William Shatner hasn't told anyone about Priceline. 48 hours tonight. Don't touch me. Mr. Stenbeck, I'm warning you to refrain from any physical contact with the witness. I sincerely apologize, Your Honor. My relationship with Molly was nothing if not physical. It was an instinctive move, and I apologize. I won't repeat myself. And I won't do it again, Your Honor. Don't do it, Molly. Don't let him get to you. So back to my original line of questioning. You will agree that you and I were lovers. Regretfully, yes, we were. You might regret it now, but at the time you were a willing participant, right? I am. Um... I thought I loved you. 
Yes, and just a year ago, you cheated on your then fiance to rendezvous with me. Is that correct? Yes. Wasn't it dangerous to be engaged to Andy Dixon and secretly meeting me? Yes. So why'd you do it? I was different then. You were different? How? I felt that things that were forbidden were exciting, edgy. And you liked living on the edge. I mean, the danger, it gave our lovemaking a little something extra, didn't it? We played some very sick games, David, and I'm not proud of them. Where do we play those games? Objection, Your Honor. Prosecution fails to see how this line of questioning is anything but a prurient exercise on the part of the so-called defense. Where are you going with these questions, Mr. Stenbeck? Going to the truth, Your Honor. My point will be clear in a moment. So could you say that given these games we like to play, that our relationship was not built on a foundation of truth? That's right. You lied to me continually. Well, let's make what we've established very clear for the court. The lying, the deception, even the crimes were a turn-on for you. In fact, my bad side appealed to your love of danger, didn't it? Maybe then, but I... So isn't it possible that my admitting to this kidnapping that never even took place was part of our special brand of flirtation? No. Just another a kinky turn-on in an already twisted relationship? No, I already Objection. said no. Objection. Your, your He's badgering witness. been made, Mr. Stenbeck. Move it along. How do you feel about me right now? I hate your guts. You killed anything I ever felt for you. So, feeling nothing for me, you were completely indifferent reading the editorials that Miss Stewart wrote and the intruder requesting that I be released. No, I was furious. Because you wanted me to serve out my sentence no matter what? Yes. Is it accurate to say that you wanted me to stay in prison forever? Objection! Definitely. Because I was tempting for you, isn't that right? Objection. And you wanted to be away from temptation, huh? That's not what I meant. You wanted me locked away to get me out of your system. Objection! No, no, I wanted you locked away because you're a vile, murderous excuse for a human being. That sounds like feeling to me, Molly. We can do without the editorial comments, Mr. Stenbeck. To, to get me out of Stop your system, it, David. Molly. Stop it. Well, answer the question! How far? Right! Anything! I would do anything not to hear, see, or be anywhere near you again! Anything! Thank you, Molly. Thanks for making your motives perfectly clear. <laughs> what in the world makes you think that I am capable of paralyzing my son with drugs? I didn't want to believe it, John. I don't want to believe it. You're my mentor. More importantly, you are my friend, but I'm sorry, that book coupled with a missing vial and a syringe, it just, it, it all looks a little bit too much like evidence to me. Why? A drug vial disappears while at the same time I give my son a book, and this is evidence? What? John, you didn't give him just any book. You gave him a book on spinal injury. Because his spine is injured. And giving him something so that he can understand his condition is not criminal, it's logical. What possible motivation could I have for doing what you're suggesting? Well, maybe I ought to remind you that it's been you who's been ranting and raving around this hospital, saying that you were going to get Ben Harris ousted from here. Because of the slipshod work he did on my son. But even if, as, as you seem to be implying, this operation was a success, why would I go after Ben Harris's career? It doesn't make any sense. My main concern is Andrew. I know that. I know how concerned you are about Andrew, and maybe you're trying to help him hold on to Denise. Maybe you're... Maybe you're concerned about the custody of Hope. I but, don't know. I'm asking but you. But I would do that by causing him to be paralyzed? By causing him to look hopeless? Come on. You're being absurd. Where do you get these crazy ideas? The scenario seemed pretty obvious to me. You know, I thought I taught you that you could use your head for something more than adorning the covers of magazines. I thought I taught you how to think. Your scenario is not obvious. It's desperate. As a matter of fact, it's sick. Now, who gives you such an idea? When Isaac came to me, I didn't want... Isaac! When do you start believing medical theories from some street thug? I've been in medical school long enough to know how spinals work. 
Now, that drug could have made it seem as if Andy were paralyzed all through his exam, even if he wasn't. You know something? It's a very good thing that you are studying medicine and not law, because there's an awful lot of loopholes in your brilliant case here. First of all, what makes you think that the doctor, who has practiced as long as I have, would need some layman's text to know how to administer a spinal? Andy might. Andrew! Exactly! Andrew would roll himself over and he would put a three and a half inch needle into his spine. Is that right? We're talking about somebody here who has no medical experience. Do you realize that he would have precisely identify the L4 and the L5 vertebrae and he would have to give himself the shot right in the middle? <clears throat> you think he can do that, eh? Particularly after he's read about the risks of doing such a thing? Do you think he wants to risk permanent paralysis by doing such a thing? You know, you may harbor ideas of becoming a doctor and having the answers for everything, but you are very far from that right now. Thanks. Yo, man, I thought you said we were going to get out the crib and have some fun. What do you call this? Food. Well? Yo, man, I was looking for some real fun. I mean, look at these books. They snoring. What's the dealio? The dealio is you have to study to ace these exams. Listen, I know learning doesn't seem like much fun at first, but once you get into it... No, nah, no, nah, I like to learn. But the way you teach it is like it's... You have to study to pass these exams. If you're gonna make anything of yourself, right? Yeah, but Isaac made a lot out of himself. Yeah. And guess what? He's a whole lot more fun, too. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, but you gotta admit, yeah. You're always pretty serious. Like, for example, you're supposed to be taking some big break, but you spend all your time reading medical magazines? What's up with that? Don't you do nothing but work? You know, somebody used to ask me the same exact question. Oh, yeah? Who? Don't worry about it. Do the next question. I'll tell you this. It was somebody who changed my life. These are your alternatives. You can either confess in your own words and at least show you're half a man, or I can break the news, in which case you look like the biggest coward in Oakdale. So what's it gonna be? Nobody is gonna believe your half-baked story. Maybe, maybe not. But is that a chance you're really willing to take? I mean, come on, Andy. You've been scared ever since I walked through that door. Why don't you give up now, at least have a little dignity? Don't you talk to me about dignity or fear. Well, you've been easing money out of the pockets of the local citizens at the roulette wheel. I've been in a war zone. Bullets whizzing past my head. I crawled over rocks with bloody hands looking for shelter. You don't know what I'm afraid of. Yeah, that was messed up, man. But we're all dealt a bad hand. My life's not a card game. Neither is Ben's. You've been through some messed up stuff, yeah. But that doesn't give you the right to ruin a good man's life. So, you've got a bottle of, uh, what is that stuff? The boop, P pivocaine, what is that? What have you got? You have nothing. You let's, have nothing let's but a ridiculous spinals. theory. Spinals, shall we? Bupivacaine does exactly what I said, numbs you from the waist down. That's very The funny thing is, the effects are temporary. So unless you're injecting yourself every day, which I doubt, you got plenty of feeling in those legs right now. I'm not gonna listen to any more of this. Let me buy. Uh, you wanna go? Go ahead. Go ahead. Let go. Get up, walk away. Get your hands off my chair. You know, I had this friend. Oof. He used to, uh, he found this old wheelchair. And you know what he used to do? These little wheelies, these little tricks like this, you know? He could do them frontwards and backwards, but anytime he lost his balance, he would just put a foot down to keep from smashing his face into the ground. Now, <laughs> you know what I'm wondering? Stop I it! Bet, I bet I said that if we turn you around and possibly even dump... Now, I didn't drop that coffee on you because I'm not a cruel man, but I'm a very, very curious one, and I'm willing to bet that if I dump this chair, you'll put a foot down. Thousands of drivers are saving money by switching to Geico Auto Insurance. I'm here with one of them. Hello. You don't want your identity revealed. Why? If word got out I saved so much, people would be hitting me up for money all the time. Ah. Uh, you through with the milk? Sure, of course. 
I have to be careful. Geico Direct. A 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Some nights, falling asleep is the most elusive thing on Earth. No matter how hard you try, you can't capture it. Now, you can capture the sleep you need when you need it with Sonata. Like other sleep aids, you can take Sonata at bedtime. But Sonata is the first and only prescription sleep aid you can take later if you have at least four hours in bed before becoming active again. You'll fall asleep fast and still wake up naturally, ready to start your day. Until you know how you will react to Sonata, you should not drive or operate machinery. Common side effects are headache, dizziness, and drowsiness. Do not drink alcohol while taking Sonata. Patients who abuse prescription sleep aids may become dependent. Prescription sleep aids are most often taken for 7 to 10 days as needed. Your doctor will advise you about taking them longer. Ask your doctor about your sleep problem and how Sonata can help. Capture the sleep you need when you need it with Sonata. Hey, Carolyn, what do you think of your new Pledge Grab It? Pretty nifty. Goes together easy. Pledge Grab It really does grab it and hold it. I've never had anything that's been under here. How embarrassing. I know a really good spot for this. I've given the spider webs that have never, ever, ever been picked up. See, I just vacuumed this, and I'm still picking stuff up. With three girls in the house, we have lots of hair. It grabs it, and it clings to this. Take it apart, toss it in the garbage when you're done. S.C. Johnson, a family company. Every day, millions of dead cells build up on our skin, accenting imperfections and leaving skin dry and dull. Every day, Alpha Hydrox gently lifts these cells away, defending against signs of aging and revealing moist, smooth skin. Alpha Hydrox. Here's some sound advice. Eat post-shredded wheat. Good for breakfast. Good for you. My chair! Huh? Wait, put that chair down now. Put it down now. What do you think you're doing? Ask him. I'm asking you, and I'd better get an answer, and sooner you're going to be talking to the police. Well, you, you want to call the cops? Mm. Go ahead. That might kick your performance up a notch, huh? Mom, don't. All right, then I want an explanation of what's going on here. Mr. Jenkins, what is it you think you're doing? Just visiting Andy, ma'am. I do not call that a visit. Look, I'm sorry for upsetting you, Mrs. Hughes. But Andy wouldn't have been hurt. You don't think dumping him on the floor would hurt him? Now, you may be upset about your brother, but how dare you Mom. come in here and bully my son Mom. like that? Mom, I was trying to get him out of his chair. You're right, but not to hurt him, to get him to stand on his own two feet. That's just cruel. I don't want to hear this anymore. Just go. I don't ever want to see you here again. You understand that. I'll go. Oh, but Mrs. Hughes, you should know something. Your son's a liar, and he can walk. A patient wants to know about his condition, and this is shocking. It's more than that, John. That bupivacaine was missing the same day as Andy's examination. Now, I say that you're angry with me, but... Yes, I am. I'm angry. I'm very angry, but the hell with that. I'm disappointed. I gotta know, I would never try to disappoint you in any way. You know what disappoints me? That you can talk to Isaac Jenkins and you can come away believing the worst explanation for an event like this. I didn't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. You have taught me to use my head, and Listen that's what I'm doing. I can't turn Listen to me. a blind eye to this. You, you screwed up your anatomy studies, and that was because of Isaac Jenkins. You got bounced out of med school, and that was because of Isaac Jenkins. And I went to bat for you. I got you reinstated. I got you to witness procedures that any med student would have died to see. And do you know why, Camille? Because I believe in you. And it disappoints me when you think that I can turn around and I can lie and I can cheat and I can violate my physician's oath to turn my son into some kind of guinea pig in some vengeance scheme. I thought you knew me better than that.
John, I have an enormous amount of respect for you, and... Do you recall we were sitting together in my office, and I bared my soul to you about the passion I have for this profession? Do you remember that? Were you listening to that at all? When I told you that I believe that medicine is a gift that we are given. It is a calling that we have. Did you believe any of that? I believe everything. I believe every word that has ever come out of your mouth, but I am... Maybe you're right. Look, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm not thinking clearly. And I'm sorry, but something didn't make sense to me, and Camille, I am... Camille, I've always believed that you have what it takes to be a great doctor, which is a level-headedness, which is always tempered by humanity, by compassion, and a good old-fashioned dose of common sense. I'm disappointed because I know now I was sadly mistaken. Well, come on, man. Who's this mystery person that changed your life? Do the next question. I, excuse me. I um I was here earlier, and I I think I left a toy at one of the booths. It's a, a little stuffed rabbit. It's Esther Bunny. It belongs to my little girl, and she's going to be crying all night if I don't find it. So pink and white, right? Yeah, that's it. I think I remember seeing it. Oh, I'll great. go take a look. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Yo. Yo, Doc, I don't get this number five. Yo, Earth to Dr. Harris. <laughs> Yo, it's Denise. Yeah. Yo, what you saying here? Go talk to her. I can't. Why not? It's it's complicated, okay? No, it's not. Look, just move your bones over to the counter and talk to the shorty. <laughs> Go ahead. I can't. It's, it's... Yeah, I know. It's complicated and bogus. You know what? It's your business. I ain't in it. All right, fine. Let's move on to the next section. Well, well hold Physiology. up, man. I need a bathroom break. All right, fine. Go. Little boy's room's right over there. They're hitting the books? Yeah. Ben keeps me in them. Oh. Yeah, well, he's a pretty serious guy, isn't he? Like a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but... Yo, yeah, Ben, he's in bad shape. He's... He's what? What? What's wrong? What, what are you talking about? Denise, you gotta get that guy life. This courtroom will settle itself or I'll have it cleared. Molly, why did you come to see me in prison on July 25th? Because a friend of mine asked me to help prove that you orchestrated a kidnapping of Alice McDermott. A friend? Who, exactly? Jake McKinnon. And what's your relationship with Mr. McKinnon? Objection. I thought that we were confining this line of questioning to the witness's relationship with the defendant. My question goes to motive as well, Your Honor. Overruled. The witness will answer the question. Jake McKinnon and I are dating. You're dating? Like you and I dated? No. What Jake and I have is special. Much deeper than anything that you and I could have ever had. So you would do anything this man asked you to do, right? I see where you're going, David. I didn't lie about what happened, if that's what you're implying. Well, you lied for me. And you kept my secrets, you even helped me elude the police, yet your relationship with Jake goes far deeper, right? I wouldn't lie for him. And I also wouldn't expect you to understand a healthy relationship. Well, how long have you and the recently widowed Jake McKinnon been healthy lovers? <coughs> well, Molly, answer the question. How long have you and Jake McKinnon been lovers? We're not. I beg your pardon? We're not lovers. We've never slept together. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. You expect this court to believe that? Objection, Your Honor. Mr. Stenbeck fails to establish how this speaks to Ms. Conlon's motives. He's too busy trying to humiliate the witness for reasons that are clearly personal. Yeah, Molly's relationship with Mr. McKinnon is critical here. He's the one who convinced her to set me up. 
I'll allow it, but I'm warning you, Mr. Stenbeck. I'm not going to give you much latitude. I understand. Molly, you ever slept with Chris Hughes over there? Oh, this is unjustifiable! Is there any man in this courtroom that you haven't had sex with? When Annie came home from school with headlights, we were horrified. Then I found new Rid Moose. Only Rid Moose has a no-drip foam that kills lice completely and leaves no chemical residue. Lights are gone, everyone's <laughs> happy. New Rid Moose. Nothing is more effective. Your favorite crab is back Me? with Ariel's daughter, Melody. I just love the sea. In Disney's all-new movie, The Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea, rated G. Now available on video and Disney DVD. That's it. I'm booking myself on a cruise. All moved in. What's for lunch? Chicken and star soup. Condensed soup? I used to eat that too. And then I got out of the high chair. You're an adult now. There's a better tasting soup. Progresso chicken noodle. It has tender pieces of all white meat chicken and bigger slices of hearty vegetables with just the right seasonings. See the difference? Wow. This is better. Now, if you could just eat without the bib. <sighs> it's time to go to the better taste of Progresso. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Vioxx, a prescription medicine available from your doctor. Or call 1-888-VIOX-22 for information. Vioxx. Her shells escaped again. Psst, it's me, her shell. Look for me in the special Hershey syrup cow bottles. And if you hear me move, get a free VIP trip to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Let's play truth or dare. Truth. When you get a yeast infection, you use one of those messy creams, don't you? Truth. There may be an easier way. It's a pill. Diflucan. Truth. A pill that's as effective as the leading seven-day creams without the mess. Ready for the dare? I dare you to call your doctor to find out more about Diflucan. Sure, it takes a little effort, but tell the truth. A pill that treats a yeast infection is worth it, isn't it? Oral Diflucan, the number one doctor-prescribed treatment for yeast infections. Kiss those creams goodbye. With Diflucan, there is an increased possibility of side effects compared with creams, including headache, nausea, and abdominal pain. In rare instances, serious effects in the liver and serious allergic reactions were reported. Do not use Diflucan if you are nursing. If you are pregnant or taking other medications, talk to your doctor. To prevent heart-related complications, do not take Diflucan if you are taking Propulsive. For more information, ask your doctor or call us. Oral Diflucan. His ads say name your own price, but there's something William Shatner hasn't told anyone about Priceline until now. 48 hours tonight. Italy has experienced two world wars, but now, will it survive the invasion of the Barones? <laughs> America's Funniest Family is going on a Roman holiday to find some long-lost relatives. Oh, come on, we're going up. Do we have to? This is the Spanish Steps. Where's the Spanish Elevator? Everybody loves Raymond, season premiere, CBS Monday, October 2nd. Car caught on fire with me in it. One born every minute. Contract says, as is, he knew the car was no good. As is. Judge Judy. Today at 4 on CBS 2. I'm so nervous. My stomach's always upset. I can't sleep. What will happen to me? I can't concentrate. I can't stop worrying. Anxiety affects all ages, weakening the body and mind. Don't let it speak for you. Research medication is being studied to treat anxiety. To see if you qualify, call Affiliated Research Institute now. Too firm? Too soft? Then get a Spring Air mattress for both comfort and support. Spring Air, the mattress with the just right feeling. Take an extra 20% off the largest selection of Springer Back Supporter mattresses in the U.S. at Sit and Sleep and free local delivery. Call 800-675-3536. Sit and Sleep will beat anyone's advertised price or your mattress is free. A horror classic returns to theaters. Find out tonight at 5. Craig T. Nelson stars in The District. See you Saturday, October 7th. <laughs> 
control yourself, Mr. You, McKinnon. You are dead. I'm dead. dead. You hear me, sir? You're definitely going to get what you deserve. Contempt of court. Uh, I have no more questions, Your Honor. Thank you, Molly. You can step down now. Arrest my case. Well, something must have happened to cause Isaac to make that kind of accusation. Yeah, sure. A misplaced sense of family. He wants to protect his brother, Ben. And he probably found out that I was scheduled to testify at the, the, the hearing that's coming up, and he wanted to scare me into not speaking. Well, I don't know about you. He certainly scared me. Don't, don't let him do that, Mom. Guys like Isaac, they just want to intimidate you. The best thing to do is just to, to not listen to anything he said, not let anything get to you. Well, I don't think we can let it go that easily. Anybody um, home? Oh, good, it's your father. Mom, no. He needs to know what just happened. Isaac Jenkins was just here, and he was bullying. He was threatening Andy. Jenkins was here? Yes. Yeah, well, I should have known he'd be over. Have you heard what he's been saying? I just heard just now, yeah. Well, I think the best thing to do is just to, to let the incident die. You see, the problem is, Andy, other people aren't doing that. Oh, you can't be serious. Jenkins is going in the ground recruiting people for Ben Harris's witch hunt. They're intent upon burning you at the stake. If Ben doesn't get any real company soon, I'm going to have to burn my science book. <laughs> Breaking up with Ben hasn't been easy for me. But there isn't anything else I can do. Why not? It's complicated. Complicated? Boy, they sound that word cheap these days. What, did Ben say the same thing? Yeah. See, you two were meant for each other. Curtis, you had to use the facilities. Oh, well, false alarm. Um, while that you're here... Uh, Denny, I, I uh, apologize if uh, Curtis was bugging It's you. okay, he was fine. See, you don't gotta apologize for me. I'm up here making your case, and you gonna do me like that? Man, that's messed up. But if you don't want me in your business, mm -hmm. I can get out of here. Ain't nothing complicated about that. Look, uh, whatever Curtis says, I'm sorry. He shouldn't be ben, in the middle of... Don't worry. He was very sweet. The little guy's just looking out for you, that's all. Yeah, well, I can look out for myself. Are you sure? I mean, I know the hearing's coming up and all, and I, I know it must be a little... Never mind. Yeah. Well, um... Better get back to Curtis. Yeah. Ben. Take care of yourself, okay? <laughs> no slam, no dunk, just one big fire. How do you manage that, man? I don't know. Sorry it took so long. It was in the yeah, wrong box. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much. I am going to have one happy little girl on my hands. <laughs> Thanks. I need to talk to you about Ben. Well, sort of. Curtis just cornered me. What, what is it? Are you two a tag team or something? Well, we do have some sort of connection. Look, if this is another pitch for Ben, I, I can't take it this afternoon. Well, this pitch is different. Yeah, how? What if I told you you belonged with Ben instead of Wheelchair Boy? You know what, Isaac, man, you're way out of line. Okay, well, Wheelchair Man, the point is, is that your husband is a con artist who has been able to walk ever since that operation. crackers baked with no artificial preservatives and cheesy not sugary like sweet snacks i love my goldfish it's one snack that's okay to get hooked on introducing wizard scented oil it brings a new freshness to your home you can control the level of fragrance in wizard scented oil to neutralize odors and create a magical fragrant atmosphere for up to two months in crisp breeze 
country berries and white bouquet new scented oil from wizard fragrances that change your world beneath their long white coats most pediatricians are parents who care about gentleness as much as you do which is why eight out of ten pediatricians choose the gentleness of johnson's for their own babies only Johnson's head-to-toe baby wash has the No More Tears formula. It's milder than any baby soap and as gentle to eyes as pure water. Johnson's head-to-toe baby wash. Not just gentle. Johnson's gentle. Look at this uniform. It's stained. It's perfect. What? For me. Clorox, too. What Clorox bleach does for whites, I do for colors. It's perfect. Another home run. Clorox, too. The Clorox bleach for colors. Your computer can be your bank, your jukebox, your soapbox, your passport to the world, if someone shows you how. And we will. Technology's great, but in gateway country, people rule. Call 1-800-GATEWAY and get a gateway PC with a year of AOL and free technology clinics for just $799. Get away, girl. <laughs> And for crime scene investigator Gil Grissom, it's time to go to work. We'll find him, Miss Harmon. There is always a clue. To do his job, he has to be part scientist. Concentrate on what cannot lie. The evidence. Part detective. I have a warrant for your toenails. Come again. And a little out there. Is there a grasshopper in here? So what makes his team of investigators the best? <laughs> so many reasons. William Peterson in CSI. Premier CBS, October 6th. So what are you saying? Andy's faking his paralysis. The man can walk, Denise. <sighs> Isaac, I've already been through this with Ben. It's why they hired a specialist to perform that test, and the specialist has already confirmed it. Andy is paralyzed. Well, I know different. You know what? I'm sorry, but you're talking to the wrong person right now. I don't want any part of this. Look, you're already part of this, whether you like it or not. Isaac was supposed to be meeting us here. I'm just wondering what's keeping him. Oh, there he is. See, he stopped Denise for you. Now's your chance. Why are you still sitting here? I uh, don't think I'll interfere. I mean, uh, whatever they're discussing, it's none of my business. You know? Just keep an eye on your husband and the rest of his family. And how is that supposed to help, Ben? Look, we need proof that Andy's lying. Just pay attention to his behavior, how he interacts with his family, looks between them. No, no, I can't spy on people I care about and trust. Andy's family has been incredible to hope in me. Uh, Somebody is lying to keep you in that marriage, Denise. That's wrong. No, I, I know Andy. Andy, could, could, he, he would never lie about something like not being able to walk. Maybe you don't know Andy as well as you think. And where do you get off saying something like that? You don't know Andy. Look, I've known a thousand Andys. They come through my bar every day, and I'm telling you, they would lie to hang on to something no, precious, no, and that Andy is lying to hang on to you Try to lump him in with all your low-life customers, okay? Because Andy is an honest man. And I'm not so sure you'd know one if you saw one. When did you get so naive? I mean, last I checked, you grew up on the streets of Peoria, right? Yes, yeah, so what? So I know where you come from. Different hoods, same streets. And the first <laughs> thing you learn is what somebody is and what somebody says can be two separate things. Okay, all right, so what's your point, My Isaac? point is you lost your instincts. It's so easy to forget lap dancing at the Oasis when you're bouncing a baby off your knee at the Hughes compound, huh? I don't have to listen to any of this. Oh, yes, you do. The point is this. Those people, those people are no different than anybody else. Just because they have a big house and nice green lawn doesn't mean they can't lie and steal. You know what? I am sick of this. I am so sick of you. Listen, if you want to help Ben, then you might just have to get your suburban hands dirty. What was that all about? Janice looked pretty upset. Now she ought to be. What did you say? Everything's still going according to their plan. What, Just chill out. What plan? Nailing Andy Dixon. 
We've almost got him. People are lining up against Andy. Why? It's all a lot of nonsense. Don't let it get to well, you. So what are they saying? Who else is in on this, Dad? Camille Bennett came to me with some cockamamie theory that Isaac Jenkins is trying to make her believe about you staging a paralysis. What? She keeps referring to something she calls evidence. Well, so what kind of evidence does she have? As I say, it's a lot of nonsense. It's not even worth repeating. But it does mean you're going to have to go in front of this hearing board. Oh, Dad, I, I, you can't just let it go. There's no reason for no, you to no, do... No, Andrew, if, if it's just a matter of clearing your name... You've None of that go. matters. It does matter. Ben Harris is accusing you for his mistakes. Now, anybody who expends this much energy on this much harassment and deception does not deserve to practice medicine. Now, the first thing tomorrow morning... I'm, I'm sorry, am I interrupting something? What, no. What's going on? No, absolutely not. Absolutely nothing at all. All right, McKenna, you're free to go. Yeah, well, I don't know what sorry fool wasted their money bailing me out. This one. I'm sorry, I, I didn't I didn't know. No, it's okay. I mean, it fits. Sorry, fool. Don't say that. Why not? It's how I feel. I think. I don't know. I really don't know how I feel right now, except for maybe just raw. How are you? Not so great. Look, I, 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 know, I don't know what happened. Be bad. I, I just. It was even worse than I thought. Let's go back to my place. We got. We have a lot to talk about. Now your shower has the power to transform your skin with Olay Daily Renewal Body Wash. It actually has age-defying properties. Magnification shows that after one shower, you'll notice the difference. After one week, you'll have moisturized skin that's firmer, younger-looking, radiant. Olay Daily Renewal Body Wash. Proven to transform your skin in as little as one week. really important to you? Cheer. We love what you're wearing. Ah! Um, Mommy, can you refill that Glade plug-in, please? For lasting freshness, don't forget to refill your Glade plug-ins. Plug it in, plug it in. Think soft is all that matters in toilet paper. Dream on. I'm Kleenex Cottonelle. And my thick ripples go beyond soft to leave you feeling confidently clean. Kleenex Cottonelle. When you think of clean, think of me. It's fall your sale. It's all inside. Let yourself go there. Or there. Or there. JC Penny. Love the way you always try. Almost makes me cry. There's something we can do. They come cookies, me and you. The most important thing I've done in life take care of my family. An important thing I've done lately? Talk to my doctor. Ask your doctor about PremPro. I'm glad I did. Something strange is going on. Hang on. Just hang on, Reba. Someone's out to get Reba. Frank, they forced us off the road. Now things could turn deadly. As long as you insist on pursuing this, there's a real chance of danger here. And what happens next? I'm not going to give up. You are in way over your head. Is everything on Guiding Light. Yeah, that Camille, she really came through. I mean, she's the one that found out John Dixon gave Andy those spinal injury books. 
She found out about the drugs, the syringe. You could have done better if I hired a private detective. I gave you my word. Appreciate it. Still, I'm, I'm a little worried about Denise. Now, you think you got through to her? I got my point across. I mean, she's very clear that we believe Andy's been faking the whole time. What she plans to do with that, it's anybody's guess. You don't think the evidence you found is enough? Not alone. We need to know what's going on inside the house, and Denise is our link. She's the key, Ben. The key to getting you off the hook. You couldn't possibly be intruding. Are you guys? Do you think I could have a word with you no, privately? No, not now, Dad. I, I don't mean to be rude, but this time of day, this is a special time of day for Denise and me. And Hope, where we read books to Hope and help her learn about button buttons and <laughs> tie laces and things like that. You understand, right? Of course. Of course. All right. I'm to talk to you later, then, okay? I'll see you all. Bye-bye. Denise. I'll go up and uh, put Hope's new all clothes away. Wait, Kim, you don't have to do that. It's okay. I like to. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. What's up with everybody? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, it's nothing for you or me to worry about. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just between them. I'm sure. Why don't you close your eyes? Come over here. What is it? Well, you don't trust me? All right, come over here first and then close your eyes. Okay. What is this? What, you looking for a rematch? Another, what, game of one-on-one? -on -one? Is well, that it? Well, actually, I was hoping for maybe two-on-two. -two. You and Hope versus me and my chair. So what, does this mean you're willing to give rehab another chance? Yeah, soon. Yeah. But until then, why don't you go get Hope, and we'll go and have a backyard game. You know, Andy, I... I don't get why you keep putting rehab off. It doesn't make any sense to me. Why? I, look, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, okay? I told you I'd go. Soon. I, I mean that. Yeah, but you said soon last time and the time before that. I mean, don't you think it's worth the effort to give physical therapy a look, chance? Denise, there's no deep, dark reason. Really. And listen, there's nothing for you to worry about. Okay? Except for blocking my exceptional shots. Hey, catch this. I'm sorry, I guess, uh... I guess that was a little wide. What happened to that flawless aim of yours? I don't know, Andy. Maybe I just have a lot on my mind. Oh, that was a long ride. You were so quiet. Did we take the scenic route? Be quiet, too. Yeah, well... I wanted to make sure that I caught every last nasty word that that news radio said about me. Well, you know the press. If they, if they don't think the story's sensational enough, they'll, they'll do whatever they can to spice it up. My history with David, tasteless as it was, hardly needs any extra spice. I guess there's no way to avoid this conversation now, huh? Do you, do you really want to drag this out? Because I think talking about it's just going to make us feel really a lot worse. How do you know? Because I know what you're going to say, and I don't blame you. I wouldn't want to keep seeing me either, so why don't we just make this goodbye really short and sweet? And don't even try that let's stay friends thing, because I know that never right, works. Right, I don't want to stay friends. Oh. I knew we were dead in the water when I saw that look on your face. But look at that. That just disgusted look you had when you leapt at David. I mean, who'd blame you for going for his throat? You, you, do, you would have done anything not to hear one more sickening, humiliating word. I think that we're, we're surfing two different waves here. You're right. I was disgusted. I was disgusted, and I sure as hell didn't want to hear any, 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 any more of it. But it wasn't because it was hurting me. It was because I couldn't stand the fact that he was, that he was coming after you, especially since I felt like I got you in, in, involved in this thing in the first place. And I am sorry that I went after Stinbeck because I love, I love to follow up on something that I start, but I'm even sorrier that you misunderstood why I did it. Well, what about all those things that David you know, said? Nothing, nothing Stenbeck said matters. 
I don't think you want to talk about sexual history. I think mine makes yours look G-rated. No, I'm crazy about you. Nothing that slimeball said or did is going to change that. That that's old news. I mean, we'll recycle that like like like, like newspaper. Yesterday is gone. We are now. You know, tonight is the only thing that matters. And I have been waiting so long. This night. When a man loves a woman. There are some songs that reach deep into your soul. Loving you is wrong. I don't wanna be right. Presenting. The Deep Soul Collection. Being right means being without you. 22 of the greatest ballads of all time. I've been loving you. All the great soul singers. Too long. Otis Redding, Percy Sledge, Aretha Franklin, Solomon Burke. If you need me, I want you to call me. Wilson Pickett. Get Deep Soul on CD or cassette for just $12.99. Order with your credit card and get a free bonus album featuring Benny King. So darling, darling, stand by me. That's two great soul albums, 32 hits. From B.B. King the thrill is gone away. to James Brown. This is a man's world. This is a man's world. Then audition other soul albums. Satisfaction guaranteed. So order with your credit card and get two albums for $12.99. Call 1-800-409-5577 to order Deep Soul for $12.99 for CD or cassette, plus $3.99 shipping and handling. Use your credit card and receive a free bonus album. That's 1-800-409-5577. Or send check or money order to Deep Soul, Department 11, Richmond, Virginia, 23280. Go ahead, fill him up until he bursts. You need Jet Dry. If you only use detergent, you're only doing half the job. Plus, one Jet Dry bottle lasts 30 loads. Hey, hey, look at that, huh? No spots, no film. Jet Dry, once a month for sparkling dishes. The signs of aging are written all over your face. Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream is clinically proven to start visibly reducing them in only one week. Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Wrinkle Cream, recommended number one by dermatologists. CBS presents the Oscar-winning crime saga that will keep you riveted. Freeze! Police! How about some payback big time? Don't ever try to bribe me. I'm not afraid of you. The network television premiere of L.A. Confidential, CBS Sunday. Tonight at 5 on CBS 2 News. The Exorcist is back in theaters. Find out how it's scarier than ever. Then at 6, how the MTA strike is affecting bicyclists in downtown Los Angeles. These stories and more tonight at 5 and 6 on CBS 2 News. Summer's almost over, but it's not too late to be in the best shape of your life. There's still time to look and feel fantastic. Join Valley Total Fitness now for just $5 to start. It's easy to get started. 
Call 1-800-FITNESS-NOW. This incredible offer ends soon. The body of your life is just around the corner, but this great offer is almost gone. Join now for just $5 to start. It's your last chance. Call Bally Total Fitness today. Miss Jones? Courtney, how are you? Sharon! You already graduated from Bryman and got this great job? You were gonna enroll with me, but you changed your mind. Oh, I wish I hadn't. If I could, I'd go right now. If you've ever considered enrolling in a medical or dental assistant program, call Bryman College right now and we'll get you on track to a new career. For a brochure, call 1-800-722-7337. Careers begin at Bryman. Barbara Streisand, The Grinch, Sarah Jessica Parker, and Benjamin Bratt, Next ET. Bette Midler comes to television in her very first series, CBS Wednesday, October 11th. Well, you certainly know how to distract a lady. It's a gift. Do you mind? No, not at all. Do you? Well, no, not in the least. Mmm. Almost seems a shame to light it. Cuban? Against the law. I'm sure it's the generic brand, but every bit is good. What? Well, there's something about watching a woman handle a cigar. It's an art that's usually lost on the female of the species. Well, I have tried to made a, make a point of learning about the finer things in life. Yes, it doesn't solve all my problems, but it provides a great distraction when times are rough. Now, are times rough now? Why do you ask? Well, it's not the first time that you've referred to having problems, and I just want to know if there's anything you want to share with me. Not really. Well. In that case, I will gladly concentrate on distracting you. And how do you propose to do that? I... Join Ballet Total...